God bless. Bless Rastafari Hensel Asai Jessica Mbangeni, Queen Jessica Mbangeni. Coming all the way from South Africa to Jamaica, Kingston. Make use of this time because we're gonna kick it, kick it, man. Bless up, man. John Rastafari Hensel Asai. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today, my heart is deeply saddened. I'm extremely sad to announce to my fans all over the world that my dearest sister, Jessica Mangini, is dead. She passed away this morning. She was only 47 years old. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I am so hurt in my heart to know that I've lost my sister at such a young age. And to know that she still have great work because she came to Jamaica and she have done so much great work. IRFM and all the other places that I took her to was memorable. She taught me so much things about Africa the motherland. She taught me to recite these words. I am an African. Garments that I'm wearing right now was given to me by Jessica Mbankini. So for me to bring you this news, it touches me. I'm saddened. At about 7.30 this morning, my phone rang and I got a call from my dearest of sister, Sharon Oshan Chambers. And she said to me, she said, Blackstone, as she affectionately calls me, are you standing or are you sitting? I said, well, I'm lying down right now. She said, well, I have sad news. I have to tell you that Jessica Mbangini passed away this morning. I said, what? She said, yes, our sister as transition. It felt like something ripped my heart apart because me and Jessica have become very, very close over the seven years that I've met her. We have done so much different videos together. Videos like See Me No More when she went to the slave dungeon of over 400 years in Portland. Videos like when she went to the grave sight of Nanny of the Maroon. Videos like when we went to see the honor of Marcus Carvey. Videos like when we went to the shrine of Paul Bogle and the shrine of Sam Sharp. Memorable videos that you all can go and enjoy on my channel on YouTube. I just want to say that when I call my friends that I know knows her very well, they were deeply saddened. This is what my son, not my biological son, but one of my son, Nesbitt, had to say. Take a listen. It was a normal day like today, me a plan for tomorrow when the news came and everything changed. Me know my life now go be the same. When me hear the news about Jessica, me phone drop a grung me start. And me feel a pain. Me feel a pain when me never feel. So me ask, who I make a yo? Hey Jessica, celebrate today. I celebrate art every and all of that, but. 
I remember the day, the, uh, the first day I met Jessica Mbangini, one of most would describe her as South Africa top poet. One of the world, the world greatest spiritualist, Miss Jessica from all the way Africa, <coughs> all the way Africa, the motherland. And I'm standing right here with her. I, I'm feeling a different power. You understand what I say? So, yo. Mililuana by Basila, what Tommy Hulu, a hat to the Coco, Nam Sabuti, Benelica, Lenyan, and Nascondo Songa, Malasham Baula, Vuka, Africa, Vuka, Yaham, Yaham. What that mean? What that mean? Let it be and so be it. Yeah? Yes, because the Africa is about to rise. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We hear the echoes of the voice. Chanting Alohoi. Alohoi. I am an African. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> blessings. blessings, my brother. Blessings. <laughs> My dream, my dream, and my dream, my dream, my dream. Then tell you, my dream is to live my dream. Stand up beside her, Jessica, the Empress Queen. Tell you, my goal, my goal, my goal. All of my goal is to reach my goal. Live a happy life, put it for me, it's too. Nobody no be cry over me dead. Look at me now, when I'm dreaming and stand gold. To me, I walk like a rectangle. Oh, oh, look at me now. Oh, look at me now. Oh, look at me now. I'm here to tell you my life. When they used to go around, we go around. No one used to go around. We want to go so lonely. Look at me now. <laughs> Blessings. Oh, I love this. I love this. I love this. Yeah. But I will describe her as the nation top poet. And. I feel a certain current from my presence, one that I can't use words to explain. Most of you who uh, get the chance, really, stand up beside Jessica would have probably have similar sentiment. But when all is said and done, as they said, time to live and a time to die. Jessica would have moved on from flesh. But spiritually, you know, she still connect. So let me say it's a sad news to know that she's no longer here with us. And as an artist and as a brother, and to know this, the power that, that Empress has, and know so she fought years with her. I just want to take the time out to say it publicly that I think it was a blessed moment for me to meet this wonderful soul and I also want my voice to echo in the four corners of the earth especially South Africa where she is from to say that with everyone that is mourning at this particular moment I want you all to understand that we are also mourning with you because we understand to a certain extent because there is a whole lot more to it than we yourself would know doesn't matter how much we study life we can only study that far but again when we lost a, a loved one when we lost someone that we realized that based on her work she wasn't here, she, 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 she wasn't working for herself and herself alone. The sound of our voice, I'm not even speaking of the words, I'm just saying the sound that echoes from the words is unexplained, it's inexplainable. So my heart goes out to the entire family, close family member, extended family, to know that Jessica Mbangin is no longer here for the land of the living. But again, as I said, she would have tried 
in a way that our words are here to stay and I really and truly want to also take the time out to bless up Father Stone because it's through the likes of Father Stone himself my car could have able to meet the Empress there Father Stone believed not the Empress there so much that he would have walked some sacred ground with that Empress and give her a new light, a new view of not just Jamaica but the entire world. So again, Father Stone does stay strong and thanks again for meet such a wonderful soul and my condolence to the entire family, whether within the poet community or biological family in, a, in and around South Africa or just about anywhere in the world who would have known of her. And if you did not get the chance to meet her, go meet some of her work, them call them the by you too. So, walk well, Jessica in Bangini. You don't know. It was a normal day like today. Me a plan for tomorrow when the news came and everything changed. Yeah, man, they say the natural is the mystic. Nesbeth, that's it. Wow. Well done, Nesbeth. And then I reach out to my dearest of friend when I'm here. It's always there for me. Eru Aisha Kamusa Menelik. And this is what Eru had to say. Take a lesson. I am an African, not because I was born in Africa, but because Africa was born in me. Powerful words by my queen, Jessica Mbengini, great warrior for the African people. She came to Jamaica and enlightened us when she reminded us, Africa! Is for Africans, those at home and those abroad. We in the diaspora, we are Africans. Our singer Peter Touch reminds us, no matter where you are from, as long as you're a black man or a black woman, you're an African. Jessica, Queen Jessica in Bankini, we're going to miss you. We love you. We cherish you. And your words shall live on and on and on to inspire us. I am an African. We will always remember your great poetic works. My sister, my mother, my aunt, my queen. I miss you. I miss your words. I miss the lovely smile that you have that captivates the soul of our people. And most of all, we will miss the message but the good thing, your message will live on. I am an African. Not because I was born in Africa, but because Africa was born in me. Queen Jessica Mbangini, we will never forget you. You came and you touched our hearts. You came to the reggae city in Jamaica and you touched our hearts. All members of the UNIA, and ACL. Honor you. Honor your words. Honor your works. The right excellent Marcus Mosiah Garvey with his vision of Africa. You proclaim these words. I am an African. We love you, Queen Jessica, forever. Blessed love. Thank you so much, Eru. Very powerful. And then again, I reach out to Ra Deal because I remember Ra Deal did the song with Jessica. I'm in love with a Rasta man. We recorded that song in Portland. And what a beautiful day and night it was. Sharing the limelight with Jessica. Greetings, world. This is Ra Deal, international reggae artist from Jamaica. And I'm here on this thing here to let you know that I wake up with a, to a terrible, tragic, sudden, sadly news. 
you know what I mean, that the South Africa international praise poet Jessica Mbangini was passed. You know, she is and always going to be greatly missed because she is more like a people person, an entrepreneur, ambassador, you know what I mean, a motivator. You know what I mean? So we all here mourning for Jessica Mbangini. We and the family of Jessica Mbangini and the old South Africa. I met Jessica Mbangini 10 years ago. First time I met her, I invited her to the studio to see how we do our studio works back home, you know? And the first time she really actually see how we deal with it, you know, we came up with a beautiful song, a great song, you know? And that song was titled, I'm in love with a Rasta man, you know? Personally, our personality is so incredible, you know? I see Africa when I see her, you know? Beautiful heart, you know what I mean? So, families, loved one, well wishes, you know? Condolences again. I know Radil, the Kushkash, Congo, and the whole of Jamaica and the world, mourning with you all, you know what I mean? So, all firm, keep strong. The Most High never give us what we can bear. Peace to you all. Bliss. And then, last but not least, Sharon Ashan. This is what she had to say. You hear Jessica Mbandini in the background giving a tribute to Nelson Mandela. Africa for Africa. Africa, my beginning and my ending, Jessica Mbangini would say. I'm Sharon Paris Chambers, praise poet. Jessica Mbangini, I was her friend. I'm a motivational speaker and an inspirational poet. Jessica's memory will live in my heart forever. There's so much to say right now, so much to say, but the Spirit is saying, listen to the sound, and let the sound permeate your heart, I, I, I am an African, say that in the mirror three times, and believe it, believe it and know where you are from. And when you know where you're from, then you can feel the energy and the power with which Jessica came here to share with us and to get us to be inspired, to be who we are intended to be, Africans living in the new world. It is our time to express exactly what Jessica has come here to teach us. You are free. You are the continental gold. You are an African. Not because you were born in Africa, but because Africa was born in you. The words of Kwame in Kruma. Let us always remember Jessica as a woman who is pure in heart, truthful and honest, loving and kind. When she expressed her love for me, I was stunned. I was honored. And then I expressed my love for her. And it kept us bonded forever. Forever bonded wherever she walks. On earth or in heaven. In the heavens. My love goes with her. Jessica, I am an African who loves and honors you. And we are going to be looking at all that you have done to remind all that is left behind of your greatness and your power. Ashe, Ashe, Asheo! At this moment, I just want to 
offer my sincerest of condolences to Jessica's mother. A lady that I met on the phone, Jessica introduced me to her. And I met Jessica two sons. My heartfelt condolences to all of you and to Lila and to all of the fans in South Africa and all around the world from the Soweto Gospel Choir who Jessica was a part of, to every person who came in contact with her, Muta Maruka, Kabu Mahat Heru from IRFM, Isis Miller, Denise Isis Miller, Sister P from Portland. All of us are mourning right now the loss of this giant. What I'm wearing today, I will cherish this because this was given to me by Jessica Mandini from Quanto Afrocentric. Thank you, Jessica, for knowing you, Mama. Thank you for being a part of my life. Thank you for teaching me about the motherland that I've never been to and I've always wanted to come to Africa, especially South Africa. So I raise my baton in salute to you, Mama. Walk good, Mama. Sleep well with the ancestors. You came, you saw, you conquered, you did exactly what the ancestors and the Almighty asked of you. Dr. Bishop Jessica Mbangini, you will forever and ever be in my heart. I still love you. I miss you. I never ever forget you. So, Mama. Jamaica had a very good time here. Uh, it has been fruitful. Where I can play. <sighs> this is a beautiful place. That always welcomes me when I'm in Jamaica. Off from the airport, Danu Marina. Off I go to the African continent. Danu Marina, look at this. This is beautiful. Trunk of the Tranquility at its best. Wow, Kingston, Jamaica, Dan Marina is the place to be. And I've come, I've come to say, later to my friends, that I know the lies because Jamaica is my home, but I'm home. 